Hey everyone, so I'm uh, getting my tires changed because I, I hit a pothole last week and cracked my rim, so I had to get a new new wheel and I just decided to replace all four tires. So anyway, I thought I'd come out and uh, take a few pictures while I'm waiting my, for my car to get fixed and the tires put on. So I'm here at uh, Mr. Tire and uh, you can see this part of town is just a little bit industrial, but there's always going to be a mix of uh, like brand new buildings and old buildings. <clears throat> also, I'll be uh, using my new 15mm uh, f.095 lens today uh, for all the photos. So let's just take a look at what's right in the little parking area that I uh, brought my car to. The audio is really bad, so I'm just going to do a voiceover, but uh, if you're wondering what Olympus has been up to since they uh, sold off their camera division, I found them. They are now Olympus Food Distributors, right here in Virginia. Now right over here is Eastern Motors and uh, they have the best car commercials ever. Uh, I'll put a link down so you can watch a clip, but it's pretty awesome. And over here is a bus stop sign and these are all over the place. So I thought I'd get a shot of this. And um, I had to back up quite a bit because uh, I was way too close from where I was standing before. But um, I think this looks, uh, this will make a nice shot. I'll just frame it like this. I like the, the fence line here on the right. The little trash can is a nice balance. Yeah, this is, this is not bad. I also like the uh, curve of the street here. So I thought I'd try and get a shot, uh, a little wider shot, including the street and the sidewalk. So here's a view through the viewfinder and I couldn't decide between vertical or, or landscape so I just decided to do maybe a Dutch angle. I thought that would work. And then uh, here's another shot, a lady just happened to walk by. So I thought I'd get a shot of her walking to the bus stop. Now just past the bus stop, I ran across this gated fence and I uh, had, you know, ivy growing on it and stuff. So I thought I'd take a vertical shot of this one here. Here's a uh, little ethnic grocery store across the street, which is kind of neat. Now right around the corner here is a mini U storage place where uh, people store their stuff and pay rent every month. But uh, I kind of like the blue doors against the gray cinder blocks. I thought this made a nice shot here. And then a little further down around the corner are the uh, apartment buildings. So it, it turns more residential here. Uh, so I decided to go down this street here. Wow, this 50 millimeter, I'm just, I'm not used to shooting this tight for street photography. Ah, I think I got something here. The top left corner, got three windows, but let's, let's focus on just this part. Yeah, something like this.
All right. Um, this is a little bit too tight, so what I'm going to do is see if I can come, yeah, more at an angle and do it this way. Yeah, something like that. A little further down, I ran across these townhomes and they all had flags on them. So I thought I'd get a shot of uh, the different flags that I ran across. and everything. On my way back, uh, coming around this corner, I kind of like these trash cans uh, being framed by the uh, garage door. So uh, let's take a look through the viewfinder and I decided to just uh, frame it vertically in portrait mode. And I think this uh, came out pretty good with the dramatic tone filter too. Here I ran across this uh, giant clock and I didn't like how the buildings were kind of cutting off or creating this uh, uneven background and framing it this way the tree was in the way so I decided to uh, walk around to the other side and uh, now I have a nice clear shot of this clock uh, but I had to get really low and down to the ground so I could uh, frame it with only the sky in the background. Here I'm walking up to Cameron Square Apartments and I looked it up online and it's uh, it's about $2,000 for 700 square foot one bedroom one bath apartment and t closer to $2,600 for a two bedroom one bath apartment. Uh, but I like their sign so I thought I'd do a, a vertical of this shot and I had to get almost right underneath it to get the whole thing in frame. Now this is the garage entrance to the apartments and I like the artwork on the walls there along with the uh, overhead street lamps. I thought this would make for a nice shot too. Now on the first floor of the apartments is all retail space and uh, this, this spot hasn't been sold yet so they're just using it for storage and trash it looks like. Uh, but I thought it might make an interesting sort of abstract type shot. So as I make my way back to the tire shop, I just want to thank everyone for joining me again today. If you like these kind of videos, you know, consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button, maybe buy me a coffee. But either way, I appreciate you watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.